Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and as promised, I am live tonight down at Field One. Eric Crandall um, and Alex Frazier have been so nice to invite me to come down here. And, you know, I don't even know where to begin to talk about the stuff these guys got down there. I mean, just everything's so cool. You know, it, it, it's like walking through Toyland for me. I, I just, my head exploded. I got to tell you, I walk into where they're building the force markers. They are so gorgeous. Oh my God. And these guys are so meticulous in what they do when they put it together. And then all the hormosis stuff. And I hope I said that right. I'm going to have Alex on here in a little while and he'll probably straighten me out if, if I blew that. But you know, Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't get lucky. But uh, I got to tell you, I, I wish everybody could share this night with me being down here. It is absolutely great. So we're going to, you know, I'm going to bring uh, Eric out here in a little while. You know, uh, Eric makes the force down here, uh, an absolutely terrific marker. And I've got some questions, you know, um, I, there's a few questions I want to ask him. And uh, he's very knowledgeable. He's going to go ahead and uh, He'll fire it up and he'll give me some straight answers and you guys are going to love it too. Eric's a, a very, very good guy. And uh, then I'm going to bring on Alex Frazier. Alex is uh, Oliver's partner, Oliver White Cloud Lane. Everybody knows that. Anyhow, um, they're partners in a hormosis. And I hope I said that right. Gosh, I choke on that. You know, everybody knows that. So, but anyhow, they are so cool and they have actually honored me with a, a series and um i can't even begin to tell you how overwhelmed i was when they first contacted me and said that they wanted to do it because it is it is such uh an honor to even be considered to do that and and have them do all of these bands for me and i'll tell you what this has brought you know one thing guys everybody knows i love building paintball got to build paintball you know we can't let this thing die out we got to keep working and working and working on it and like i always tell everybody you know we can do a lot individually but collectively we can kick butt guys that's what we need to do is all work together and make paintball even bigger and better than what it is today and i know we can do it there's just no doubt in my mind about that absolutely um so anyhow uh ever since the headband came out uh the brass eagle the fred schultz brass eagle headbands I have made probably over a hundred new friends and everybody knows that uh, I, I just, I, I like knowing new people and the people that have chimed in and, and actually humbled me it, um, almost to the point of embarrassed sometimes, you know, my, my wife reads it and she just absolutely loves it. And uh, it's, it's just been terrific. And I can't ever, ever thank everybody that's chimed in in the past few days since that band's come out all my new friends and all my old friends, all the people that watch my show, uh, Ryan Courtney, Tracy Perez is watching, Ian Jacobs. Uh, Ian, we were just talking about you too. I, I hope you hang on because I'm going to have Eric on. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the force here in a little while. But Ian, hang on because I, Alex is going to come on and um, 
I think you're going to enjoy listening to them. And uh, Brent Mitchell Foster, how you doing? Stefan Gumby, my man. And Richard Wilcox. Uh, I have to say something real quick about Richard. Um, I did a tournament uh, a few weeks ago. And, you know, it, it's always hard. You know, it is. It just is what it is. And I had a lot of people that didn't show up to help me. You know, uh, Keith Kissel and Dan Ringer, those guys, especially Keith. Kiko Man went over and above helping me. I I can't say enough about what he did to, to give me a hand with that. But I have my friends like uh, Rick Wilcox jump in and give me a hand. And uh, it will always, always be appreciated. It's um, I can't say enough about these guys. And Kenny Stewart's watching. Kenny has a general people museum. Um, he has a Tipman collection, everybody, that you cannot even believe. Uh, Kenny just moved from Kentucky up to Michigan. Why? I don't know. I guess the snow wasn't deep enough in Kentucky, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, so anyhow, he's a terrific guy. And uh, James Stevens is watching. James Stevens is uh, a friend of mine out in New York. He is uh, one of the band members. And uh, everybody knows the band is a, a special team that I've got that I, it's all handpicked. And I absolutely love these guys. They're just nothing short of terrific. So real quick, you know, I could sit and talk about how cool it is down here. You know, I mean, my head's exploding, guys. I mean, I'm looking around and just everywhere I look, there's nothing but cool stuff. It's just ugh, unbelievable. But let me give my shout outs real quick um, so I can get Eric out here. You know, everybody, I give the shout outs every week. Um, and it, that's just how it is because uh, Caesar's watching tonight. Right on, Caesar. Caesar has the, the boom treatment. You know, one thing I, I shoot on my cocker all the time is AccuLock barrel system from uh, uh, Field One down here. And I know there's a lot of barrels out there, but I got to tell you guys, I absolutely love this barrel system. It is, um, I've shot a lot of barrels. I've had a lot of barrel sponsors over the years. And this one is absolutely outstanding. And then I take it to Caesar Pizzo and he slams the old boom treatment on it. And I got to tell you, it's like the double whammy. I just, uh, I can't say enough about it. I absolutely love it. It is, it, it is just terrific. So real quick, let me give my shout outs because um, I know you guys are going to want to want to meet and talk to Eric. And I know you're going to want to meet and talk to Alex. So um, let me get my shout outs real quick, because these guys, I do this every week, you know, and I, I get some guys going, well, why do you talk about them guys? You know, guys, if I didn't talk about these guys, I would be embarrassed myself because these guys are really what made paintball paintball. You know, back in the day, I, everybody sees how it is now, but you guys weren't with us back in the day when things were really rough. You know, we were warmongers and just all kinds of garbage and, and bad, bad, bad information was out there. And we worked really, really hard over the years to uh, to bring it to where it is today. And, um, you know, the guys that I mentioned here, I can't say enough about. These guys spent not only a ton of money, a ton of time. And had to take a lot of heat until all of this calmed down. And we, we finally made people understand that paintball was a sport and it was a great sport. And, you know, the ticket back in the day was, you know, to get somebody out to do it. You know, they go, oh, no, I can't go do that. But, man, once they did it, they were hooked. They could not wait for the next time to get out. And these guys I mentioned all work extremely hard at that. I start every week with my friend, um, Mr. Tim Schloss. He had Tiger Stripe camouflage back in the day. He has Gateway Paintball right now in St. Louis. And uh, Gateway Paintball is going to be the final WCPL tournament uh, this year. It's going to be in October. And it's going to be terrific. You're going to, I mean, I just cannot wait for that. It's going to be great. And even if you can't play, you're going to want to come and hang out and check it out. You're going to absolutely love it. Then I have to say hi to Mr. Dan and John Colby from Immortal Air. They've been my sponsors for 31 years, guys. I started, they were Air America, um, and now they're Immortal Air, and they still sponsor me. I can't uh, I can't say enough about them. And then Bud Orr. All I got to say is the name Bud Orr. You know, I don't have to get in what Bud does, what Bud made. Bud Orr is, uh, he's a staple in this business back then and still is. He works extremely hard to uh, promote the sport of paintball. He is a, a terrific Terrific, terrific person. And uh, then I have to say hi to Mr. Tom K. Tom K was my second marker sponsor with the Automag. Uh, I was with Tom for years, years, and years. Uh, Rainey and Juby Boucher had paintball news back in the day. You would go out to a field 
and two times a month you could pick up a paper and this paper would tell you what just happened what was coming up what was new stories about the big games and everything it was just absolutely terrific i absolutely loved it and then uh, i have to say hi to mr randy camilla randy camilla was editor for apg back in the day uh, actually gave me my first cover shot uh, just uh Love the guy. He's just a terrific person. And Jerry Braun. Jerry Braun uh, had paintball sport back in the day. Jerry has uh, the field out in New York uh, right now where um, the Woods Ball is going to be there. That's going to be held in June. And uh, that's a great, great field, a great place to go play, too. And then I have to say hi to Ross Alexander. Ross Alexander had line SI. He was actually my first marker sponsor. I, I still have my original Bushmaster. It was... Uh, it's just great. It just, uh, you know, it, it led to a lot of different things. But back in the day, when you got your hands on a Bushmaster, I still got the scar from the nail spot here, you know, cocking it and everything like that. So when you got the Bushmaster, it was like, boom, you know, it was uh, it was like the, the force. You know, the force is like, it's such a cool marker because it's evolved. You know, all of this stuff's evolved. And uh, these guys here, when we talk to Eric, uh, He'll tell us a little bit about it. They, uh, they've got some anodizing in the other room. I'm hoping Eric will drag one out here. Um, maybe if I beg him, he will, because the anodizing is just stunning, just absolutely gorgeous. And then I have to say hi to Jim Lively. Jim, a uh, very good friend of mine. Uh, two tournaments back in the day you wanted to do. You wanted to do Jerry Braun's World Cup. You wanted to do Jim Lively's Masters. And what I always say about these two is – when you would go do these tournaments, it was like a family reunion because all your friends that you would start with never have met if it wasn't for paintball, period. They would all be there at these two tournaments. And it was just like a homecoming. It was just, uh, I would get so excited, man. When I, I had just weeks before that, I'd be all amped up and ready to go and just absolutely loved it. Hey, Brent, Brent Mitchell Foster is watching. Um, there's another guy that's good for paintball. There's, uh, you know, I can't say enough about my listeners. They're, uh, they're just outstanding. You know, everybody knows that uh, I, I absolutely love my audience big time. You guys are the best of the best. And, you know, you can always tell who, who really pushes the sport, you know, not just because they watch my show, but, you know, I get to talk to these guys also. And, uh, you can tell who really loves paintball and who really pushes and wants to help paintball. And these are some of them. And then I got to say hi to my two little buddies, um, the Hermans, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. Okay. Now these guys, um, they're going to go to the World Cup, the NXL World Cup this year at the end of the year. And they've got a fundraiser going. It's the Hermans paintball at yahoo.com. I believe that's what it is. I'm pretty sure. Anyhow, um, what you guys want to do is they're selling jerseys right now to uh, go ahead and raise money to do it. I've already purchased mine. So I'm hoping that you guys will get out there and, and give these guys a hand. These guys are the future of paintball, period. These guys and these two kids that I mentioned are just terrific kids. They, I mean, to me, you can be the best guy on the field, the best player that there is out there. But if you come off the field and you act like a jerk, you're not – helping our sport at all. You're killing our sport. These two kids are absolutely terrific. And their father, Mark Gong, is a terrific guy. Played for Constant Pursuit with me back in days. I put him on a television show. Uh, can't say enough about him. He's a, uh, an absolutely great guy. And Stephen Snow just chimed in. How you doing, Stephen? Hope you're having a good evening, buddy. And then one more I've got to mention real quick before I bring Eric out here is Gino from Belkin. Now, you know, Gino takes a lot of heat. He's a big company, no doubt about it. Um, but, you know, I am lucky enough to see some of the stuff he does behind the scenes because he won't tell people what he actually does to help other people out that um, they need a hand. I'll let it go at that. And so I mention him every week and because uh, I think he's uh, an absolutely terrific guy. I do. So real quick, let me bring out my co-host here, Mr. William Bailey. What's going on, Billy? Hello. How's it going? It's going good, buddy. Man, I got to tell you, I wish you were here with me. Oh, my God. I just, I walk in here. Man, I skinned the bottom of my chin because my jaw <laughs> dropped, and I dragged it on the concrete all the way over here. Uh, it, it is so cool. They've got so much cool stuff here. It's, it's not even funny. And I got Kiko. Yeah, I got Kiko. Let me try this. We tried Kiko earlier. Yeah. There he is. 
Oh, Hi, hello, got... neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little bit of an echo, but not too bad. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, let me tell you, I'm going to have Eric uh, oh. walk through some of this stuff later. Uh, like I say, Billy, oh. it just uh, actually blows me away. Yeah, I know it. It's. Uh, and, and, you know, I just, uh, I, I'm so grateful for Eric and, and Alex to uh, let me come down here and do the show. But, you know, these guys have done so much for me. It's, uh, and, and you know, the barrel system, you know, yep. Yep. how much I've I love it. their barrel, baby. That's right. <laughs> Everybody's got to shoot Freddie's barrel. I love it. No doubt about it. Look at, look at some of this stun stuff right here. Real quick. Kiko, get a little, see if you can go in on some of that anodizing there. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. It's just beautiful. Maybe maybe I can get uh, Eric to drag one of those oh. out there. They've, they've got one that is, oh, my God, the anodizing is just gorgeous. It is, so... Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's pretty cool. You know, when I when I first pulled in here, Bill, I started to go uh, down to where they were, but they're in a bigger place now. Oh, really? So, oh, yeah, they've had to expand. They've got, uh, they had to expand. Take my word for That's it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 they're doing, they're doing pretty good here. And uh, I absolutely love it. I'll tell you what, guys, um, I'm going to uh, see if we can't hunt Mr. Eric Crandall down. How you doing, Eric? I'm good, Fred. How are you? I'm doing great. Everybody, please welcome the owner here, Mr. Eric Crandall. Eric, I've got this for you so you can hear everybody. Okay. <laughs> See if I can you get it? figure out how to put this in, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty it just hooks over to here and sticks okay. in. So yeah, it's pretty sharp. You got it? I think so. Bill, I'd like to introduce you. This is William Bailey. I'd like to introduce you to Eric Crandall. Yep. Hello, Eric. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh Eric's a good guy. Um Actually, when Eric and I first hooked up, well, you're still a kid. I mean, that's what sucks, Billy. Everybody to me is a kid. Not you know? as young as I used you to be. You could be Fred. 60 years old. You're still a kid. Then it hurts. But anyhow, I, you know, no, I was probably 16 years old when I met you. Know, you know what? I used to practice against you know, was the dinosaurs. <laughs> so yeah, remember throwing the rocks and everything. Yeah, Billy remembers. So anyhow, um, Eric has got a couple of his. Uh, they make the force. And I actually, a, a friend of mine had one. I was out at um, Fairfield Extreme the other day, and he had his out there. Man, I got to tell you, it was incredible. Um, even the trigger job on it, I could almost blow on it and make it shoot. It was, uh, and it was very, very accurate. Why? Because I think the Oculock barrel. I push your barrels. I love the barrels. So anyhow, I, 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 <laughs> Billy knows that everywhere I go, I wish I check out this barrel, man. This is bad. So anyhow, um, why don't you hold us up and tell us a little bit about that? Eric. Yeah, I just brought a couple of them out there that the uh, out that we were building um, recently. So we got the. I'm not very smart with this whole camera thing. You're doing nice great. Pink one, uh, yeah. Green and black fade one, and uh, you know these things are made in the U.S. We we build them here, we machine them here, we test them here. Um, I mean, pretty much all these guns are put together and tested by Alex and Yosh. Um, and when I say pretty much all these guns, I, I mean all, all of these guns. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so they're all built with love and care here in the states, and uh, you know, it's a it's a different um, it's a different experience, right? They, you know, there's a lot of great guns out there. Um, and it's not knocking, knocking them, but you know, there's a difference. There, there's just a difference, right? Um, you know, a lot of these guns come by the container full from, uh, a factory in, in Asia and, and, and these don't, and, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're proud of it. We think they're great on brittle paint. Um, obviously dynasties had a lot of success with them. You know, they won the last two NXL events, um, well, and we can go back a lot farther than the last two events. Well, yeah, but, you know, two, you know, right. Fred, winning two events in a row is uh, it's, it's hard, right? It's and two World Cups in a row, also. So. Yeah, we're gonna have Alex on here in a little while. I think he's won. I don't know, maybe a gazillion. Yeah, so, I mean, he, yeah he won the Golden Barrel. Maybe, maybe a gazillion and a half. I'm not really sure, but we'll ask Alex when we drag him out here. Um, yeah, I haven't got my numbers exactly straight, yet, Billy. But are those cool or what? Yeah, that's awesome anodizing. Yes. Oh. I want I want them to bring this other one out. I just fell in love with it. I'm hoping that uh, we can get that out here to show you that one, the blue one, the anodized blue. And, uh, 
Uh, the, maybe the Dalton is what I'm yeah. thinking. It's like a fade with the. No, oh, it's gorgeous. Look like I, I didn't. One. There it is. Oh yeah. my gosh. So that's the Dalton Vanderbilt signature series. He's one of the guys on the team, and so everyone on Dynasty gets to sort of pick their own uh, anodizing to do for their signature series, and that's uh, Dalton Vanderbilt's. Yeah. Oh my. Well, he's got my world. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's much. a pretty gun. I'm with you. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Alex. Oh. Yeah, Bill um, has uh, Bill travels around. Bill has the, a paintball museum. Okay. What you see behind Bill right now is probably five percent of what he <laughs> has, literally. And no. yeah, and uh, Bill has. Um, I can't even begin to tell you some of the old stuff. Matter of fact, you've got the number two auto cocker uh, that. Uh, oh, yeah, cutaway. Yeah. Uh, it's a cutaway that uh, Bud did back in the day. Gotcha. Yeah, and uh, he took and he, he got that? Yeah. There it is. That's the number two. And what they did, you look at this side, it's all cut away so you oh, can yeah. see the internal workings of it. Very cool, yeah. And well, that's, oh, not oh. The, that's not the original regulator on there, though. No, no, it's the original <laughs> cutaway. It, no, no. It's got the number two thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most uh, of it looks pretty original, but except for that rag. Yeah, it, it, this was this was made just so people could understand how it works. Yeah. So, oh, because when they first got I me, mean, when I got mine, it had that little teeny tiny rag that you know you adjusted by hand, and yeah. you had to be out there on the field, right? You you had, to, <laughs> you had to cut the front of your shroud because we played with yeah, shrouds back exactly then. Exactly right. Yeah. And have it sticking <laughs> through because you'd be shooting, and then the pressure would drop, and you'd have to turn it up because your tank yeah. got full. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know what? I before I came down here, you know, I, I, I fielded questions from people and uh I gotta hit you with this one. Yeah. Okay. Mechanical's coming back big time now. Okay. Um, you know, because the woods fall is coming back and mechanical's coming back. Now the e-markers are great, but there's you know, there's a space for everything. You know, I'm I'm even in the jelly ball. I mean, there's just a space it's a lot of fun. It, it's too much fun, but there's just a space for everything and I've had all kinds of people in the last week when they knew that I was coming down here and seeing you and Alex, they go, ask them if they are ever going to get a different receiver and make it a mechanical marker. So it's something we want to do. It's something we will do. Um, you know, we've played around with a few things. We have some concepts. Um, so I would say it's in the conceptual phase. It'll happen, but not super soon. Right. Um, you know, just when we, anytime we do anything, we, you know, we, we want to try and do it right. You know, the barrel kit, the force, like, I mean, obviously the barrel is a barrel, right? It's a round tube that a paintball goes through. Nah. So, I, I, but I mean, I, that, that's what it is. So we didn't invent the wheel, but you know, we tweaked it and we did some different things that, you know, haven't been done or haven't been done in a long time. And we feel like the same thing with the force. And, you know, if we do a mechanical frame, we want to have it be, a really good, you know, special, unique mechanical frame. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You're not going to go backwards because everything you guys have done so far has been top notch. Yeah. You know, uh, Bill, Billy, you'll know I, I, that barrel. I just, uh, I push that barrel wherever <laughs> I go. Yeah, I do. I know it. <laughs> Everybody just, they just love it. You know. So, yeah, and uh, so it's to me, it's more than a tool. Okay. Yeah, no, and, and, yeah. and it is, but you know, you don't want to. Again, you know, we make we make what I think is a really nice paintball gun in the force. Absolutely. And we did a handful of things different that hadn't been done, and you know, like people people see it and they say, oh, I you know, I hate the, I don't like the way the foregrip looks, and then they hold it and they go, actually, this is really comfortable, you know, and and there's just little things like that. We have a rechargeable battery option as well as double A's and there's a switch and you can use either or, right? Like people yeah. just haven't done it. You know, we're, we're trying to, we're not trying to just make something right. If we do a mechanical frame, we don't want to just have a mechanical frame that works. Okay. Nope. Um, nope. You know, and uh, unfortunately that stuff takes time, especially when you're small and doing it here in the U S but uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. eventually. It didn't look very small when I walked in here, man. I, like I say, I, I, I wish that uh, the remote camera was working because seeing the market line Co compared to the other guys, Brad, beautiful. Trust me, you walk into Die or Spark Parts or Planet Eclipse, it's there's you know it's 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 a different thing, right? These guys are doing guns by the container full. You know, you walk in there, you see our guns, and all the guns we have available for sale are on one shelf, right? Yeah, but they're for sale. See, that's the thing, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can go out to field. I can go out to any field. 
and see a port software. Well, out here, you know, yeah. there, there's lots of fields where people don't have that experience, and that's on us to mm -hmm. get more of these guns out there. Um, because generally, when people shoot them, uh, they like them. They go, "Wow, this gun shoots great!" And uh, you know, especially bro you know brittle paint. That's that's one of the things that I think really has helped the team be successful with it. Is they're really good on brittle paint, and that's something we hear consistently. Um, so yeah, I mean, we we we've tried to make a great gun and. You know, I think for the most part, people who shoot it like it. Um, and one day, they'll get to play with it in the mechanical division. Yeah, well, you know, you you evolved since you started. This isn't, you know, when you first got the company, this isn't the market you really started with. So It's you, nowhere near, yeah. That's what I'm one. saying, yeah. yeah. So, you know, everything evolves, you know. But this has evolved into a terrific one. And, you know, just like uh, the show, how, how many countries they watch us in right now, Billy? Ten, isn't it? Ten or eleven, yeah. Yeah, ten or eleven countries, you know. We get most of our views tomorrow, believe it or not, because the show is on so it's late. It's on late. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm not keeping you up, I? I mean, just yeah. about. I'll be putting my kids to bed in about half an hour and then hopping into bed. <laughs> there you go. What time do you get here in the morning? Uh, I'm usually Love here by nine. nine. Oh, are you? No, no. I, yeah, I roll. I, I get, get the kids off to school and then go to work. You know? Oh, there that's, you go. Life revolves around kids these days. Oh, it absolutely does. You know, that's why, you know, I was talking about mm -hmm. the Hermans earlier, uh, you know, mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, when Mark started, it was just him and, and actually it was just him and Mark Jr. Jaden wasn't even involved yet, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I helped push him. I just, uh, like I say, they are the future of paintball. And, you know, we need to, to keep keep these kids moving forward. And, and Mark's raised them in such a positive light. They're such great, great kids. You know? Yeah, I know what the, what the Hermans are doing is great. And it's great to see these second generations um, of kids. I mean, the, really the first one. And I I don't know, uh, Steve Rabicott, do you remember Steve? Yep. Okay, so mm -hmm. his son, Justin, is, I mean, almost on the verge of, I mean, he's not retiring, but he became a great pro player. You know, so, I mean, you had, you've had two generations of that family go through being dominant pro players. Uh, there's guys like Ryan Podesta out here, whose son is, uh, he was at World Cup in the kids' exhibition and, you know, bunkered some, he looks, uh, Nico, what was it? Yeah. Nico, yeah, I want to say his name is, and he's, uh, he's great. I mean, there, it, it's great to see these second generations get out there. And you see it all the time at the paintball fields now where guys who used to play, right, like our generation or, or even younger <clears throat> are coming out there with their kids playing and wanting their kids to experience what they're experience what they experience and it's great yeah absolutely right you know and good examples dirk gadbury and his yeah. son and, and mm -hmm. michael beard and his mm -hmm. son you know um they brought them out and then now michael beard is his grandson out there you know i mean which well, it, and, it just blows me and away that's what's so cool <laughs> about paintball is there's so few sports that you can take your 12 year old you know a 35 year old man can take his 10 year old son out and his 10 year old son could be better than him. Right. That's not going to happen in almost any other sport. And that's, what's so great about paintball is anyone can be good at it. It's a, it's as big as an advantage to be small as it is fast or, you know, strong or whatever, you know, it's as much a mental game as a physical game. So a 10 year old can go, you know, shoot the crap out of a 25 year old. Yep, absolutely right. Um, but what's good about paintball is, you know, you don't have to be fast. You don't have to be big. You, you, anybody anything, yeah. anybody can play it. You know, there's just different levels of it. That's all. Anyone can play it at a high level, though, right? Young, old, yep. you know, big, small, you know, fast, slow. Yep. I mean, look, does it help to be small, fast, athletic? Well, absolutely. But you can make up for that with uh, with skills and brains, right? It's uh, it's It's a really unique sport like that. And it's great. I, the, the, one of the things I've always liked best about it, and, and I've had fields, is, uh, you know, parents can play with their kids. That's how Alex, uh, Alex started playing. His, he came out with his dad, and it was something they could do together. Oh, and there's standard. just not that many sports where you can do that, right? Where, where can a grown man, you know, take his son, and they can go play basketball competitively together or, you know, football. And or have a golf, great time. Right? And have a great time. And be on a level playing field. Absolutely. And, you know, and – like I say, you know, Bill plays in a band with me. I have a, uh, we have a special team called a band with Bud Orr and Tim Floss and Tom Kay and all them guys. And see, Bill's great. Bill's like a moving bunker for me. <laughs> so I put Bill out in front of me, man. Yeah. <laughs> so he he's always wondering why he's the first one to get shot. That's because <laughs> I'm hiding behind him. That's why. Yeah. But we have a great time. You know, we go out and we jump in with the big boys. Am I right, Billy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We jump in with the big boys, you know, and. Our whole thing now is, uh, do we expect to go get the trophy? Not unless we buy it. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way. Uh, but are we going to go out and have a great time with a bunch of great people, huh, Billy? Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, you, you just can't beat the camaraderie. And and to me, that's that's winning. You know, I went and played the World Cup uh, last year with Bud and all these guys. And just like I told Tim, you know, we're all together. We're joking. We're having a good time. We have a little had a cookout and everything like that. And the tournament was like a secondary thing to me. I felt like I'd already won because I was there with such a good group of people having such a great time. And I would have never known any of these people if it wasn't for pain. No, I, I, I'm with Period. you on that. I mean, the, the diverse group of people you get to meet, I mean, with Dynasty, one of the things we consider is we don't want anyone on the team if we don't want a room with them. Right. You know, you it, it's a fun thing. If, if you don't want if, if you wouldn't want a room with someone, you probably don't want them on the team because that's what makes it. You know, it's a fun, special time to go. And yes, you're competing and it's focused and all this, but you're also hanging out with your friends. And uh, I mean, that's that's what it's about. Right. That's why people that's what why these guys are still doing it 20 years later. What could be better? Exactly. Uh, yeah, and you, you got a lot of time. I mean, you're still a kid. So yeah, yeah. not as young as I used to be. You want to trade? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Same answer I get from everybody. I ask, you know, yeah. they give me that hate look. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think you got it going on. I think you guys got it going on. And you know, one good thing about, about field one down here is I, I wish everybody could experience the guides that all work together down here. Um, they are just, they get along. They're a terrific bunch of guys and they're focused on what they want to do. And their focus is building a great market period and barrel. Um, I, I, Bill knows I, I got to sort of barrel thing in cause I just, I love Love, love that girl. You, just, you did. You, there's some. Go ahead, Billy. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, just saying, Fred. If somebody hadn't forgot to send a barrel to you, you would have never used it. Ah, who, who would forget to send me a barrel? I, I think it was Caesar. No name, no names. You know, no. that's one thing I've learned. You know, send your marker to have somebody fix it. I feel it. like I got you that barrel pretty early, and you get him back into paintball. Yeah. No, you give it to Kiko. Well, no, I, when, thought, when I, thought Freddie, I, gave, I thought I gave you no, one too. At no, the, uh... you gave Freddie one and Kiko one. Okay. I, uh, and you were still shooting your automatic. I still at that had point? the mag. Okay, maybe you said you didn't need one because you were going to shoot the mag. Okay. And, and Kiko yeah. was all over it. Kiko crawled across the table to grab that. Okay. So yeah, he was all over that. <laughs> yeah, and then and then uh, when well, I started, I offered. you did, you did, I was, you okay. absolutely did. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> 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 Come on in here, Kiko. <laughs> so then, then when I started shooting a cocker and everything like that, no. you know, I wanted, uh, I just wanted a first class barrel. That's why, you know, I, I wanted to get one of your barrels and I have never, never been disappointed. Bill will tell you, Bill's, Bill's watched me take that barrel off. Mm. I've let everybody shoot that. Matter of fact, I let Schloss, because Tim Schloss came out and I let him use my auto cocker and my barrel in the, the tournament up in Oroville. And uh, I almost didn't get it back. No. Well, if Tim wants well, better, I, I'm happy to get him one. No, I tried. I, I tried to steal yours, Fred. You know, saying that I would ship it back to you, so you would have to take it on the plane. But Fred's like, no, that's coming with me on my carry on. Yeah, that, that, we, we'd be, I, I've heard that story. That's really we'd funny. be happy to we'd be happy to sponsor the band. A anyone anyone that wants to shoot one on the band in the band, we'd be happy to well, get them, happy to help out. Most of us shoot shoot auto and, Now they uh, fit on an auto -cocker. Can't yeah. help oh. you with your automatic. Oh, no, I shoot the cocker now. That's what's what what's an auto cocker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you got about, what, four or five hundred of them? Yeah. yeah. Pretty close. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to see his collection. It's, oh, uh, I see, oh, I that's see some not, of it back there. That, that is such a... I've, I've still got my cap piece. cocker. Oh, do you really? Yeah. I mean, that's that's a little a little dated. I, I yeah, I wish I could find my old... Uh, you ever talk to Bud Orr anymore? Yeah. 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 Every now and again. Cool. That's yeah. That's one of the great, you know, the great guys in paintball. Oh, that's not even a word for it. He's, uh, yeah, guess who he's hanging out with right now? Who's that? Bud. Guess who he's he's hanging out with? Uh, Larry Casillo. Oh, is he? Really? Yeah. Oh, Larry's cool. a great guy too. Larry and his wife they're in town. They're staying with Bud for a couple of days. They're they're oh, excellent. Crazy. Yeah. Excellent. You ever <laughs> been down to the Uh, no. Oh I'm my not. God. Yeah, no, I, I've heard. Oh my God. I mean, that. <laughs> 
I'll let it go there. I'm it's surprised that's home. He's, he's always he's always on the road, you know. Yeah, he's do, got. I mean, just, his, or... just his workshop is a, a nine thousand square foot workshop, but that's not his warehouse. His warehouse is behind the workshop, <laughs> so it's uh, pretty mind boggling. But uh, we have a lot of fun with with old Bud, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <He's> good guy. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. an absolutely great, great guy. So. Well, Eric, I can't, uh, first of all, I can't thank you enough for letting me come down and, and doing my show here. I'm I glad mean, you finally took us up on our offer. I mean, I, we, we did it once before, but it's kind of been a year or two since then, right? It's been a while, yeah. I, I was probably, well, maybe I wasn't heavier. Maybe I was lighter. I know. <laughs> As people tease me all the time, they say I look like a ninja turtle with the shell on backwards. <laughs> like, what, what's that all about? <laughs> you know, so. It is what it is. How long, how long does it take to, to actually anodize a marker? You know, So we don't do the anodizing here, um, but we, we're obviously familiar with the process. Yep. Um, you know, I think, honestly, the, the most time-consuming part is the metal prep, right? Like yeah. polishing it, yeah. you know, yeah. making sure it, it's right because you don't get a second chance once you anodize it. And then depending on what you're doing, right, if you're doing a solid color, like this it's yeah. getting all the parts on the same rack so they go in the same amount of time so everything matches um and that's a fairly quick process right it's it's usually in the dye for just a few minutes and then they put it in a sealant tank um and that's it and when you're doing something more complex like a fade or a splash yeah um, that takes a little more a little more time a little more technique because it's going in two colors um but you know i, I think most of it is um, the knowledge. And, and again, when you're doing something with multicolor, you're having to, you know, dip it, then take it out, dip it again, you know, have different parts on different racks. Yeah. So there's a lot of handwork, right? Experience. Um, well, yeah. it's not a quick process. And, you know, oh, and, no. and like you say, you blow it the first time. It's not so good the second time around. No, right. And, and, right. It's getting it right the first time. Cause every time you anodize and strip, it, it takes off some, it takes some metal and you can lose some tolerance and yeah, you know, you start anodizing something two, three, four times. Uh, you can, you yeah. can have some trouble. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Wow. Tim must be watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim, if, if, hey Tim, if you're watching, call in and, and, and say hi to Alex and uh, Eric here. Tim watches all the time, but Tim has to watch on his wife's stuff. Cause yes, Terry. Tim, Tim has a flip phone. I've seen a couple yeah. of questions up there about a new Poppet or a new G6R Intimidator. And the answer there is similar to the... Um, to the mechanical, mechanical grip frame. We're definitely going to do another Intimidator. Um, we've got a list of things we want to do with it. Um, again, we don't just want to come out with the G7R that's a different body cut and this and that. I mean, it's a great marker. It shoots great. But, you know, if we're going to do it, we want to do something that's different and special and unique. So we're working on it. Um, it'll happen. It's not close to happen happening. But, you know, we have our, our list of things we want to do with it. Um, and we've figured out how we think we can accomplish those things. So we need to just get that from paper to uh, computer and design and then prototype and all that fun stuff. Um, and none of it's an easy process. You know, yeah. everybody thinks that, you know, just because you think a project, it'll happen. But it doesn't work that way. I'm sure, obviously, you know all about that. Yeah. I mean, the force uh, <laughs> dynasty tested the force for a full year before it came out. You know, it's hard to know if something's working, especially to work at the, you know, the level we want these things to work at. Correct. Um, without competing with them at that level, right? Like, it's great to have one prototype that you're shooting out back. Look but, at Mark. Um, do you want another pump run? Yeah, uh, another oh, MVP would be great. Oh, oh. There we go. Everybody, please welcome to the show the owner of Tiger Stripe Camouflage, Mr. Tim Schloss. How are you doing, Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm doing good, Phil. Hey, I just want you to say hi to, to Eric and Alex here. Hey, Tim, hey, how's it going? Hey, how you guys doing? It's a pleasure getting to talk to you. I've never actually sat down and got to meet you guys, but i got a ton of respect for what you guys have done the last few years. Yeah, uh, hey, hell, you barely talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's laughing at you, Tim. Oh, uh, everybody laughs. 
laughs at me. <laughs> I, I get no respect. Isn't that the deal? Yeah, that's that's what I hear. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here with these guys. They they were good enough to let me come down here, and uh, I'm shooting the show. Obviously, you can tell because you're watching the show live from the shop here. But oh. it, it is just great, and I'm going to bring uh, Eric on here. I mean, Alex on here in a few minutes. And here's Kiko I get Man. no respect. Here's Kiko Man. Here, Kiko. <laughs> Let me see how cute you look. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but anyhow, um, yeah, I just wanted you to say hi to these guys. Uh, hey, that's great. Can they, uh, can they do camo patterns on those guns? Yeah, yeah. We thought, I mean, what, ha did, did you, what happened with the tiger stripe uh, pattern that you, you have? You got rich and quit. Well, I know, but what happened. That's kind of the deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Hey, not to let anything out of the bag, but just keep your eyes open in the next month or so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm wondering. Right? Hey, check that's out. A great pattern. Hey, take a look. Take a look at your screen, man. I got this mm. old man holding this cool pattern up there. Uh, I'm in the other room. I can't watch the screen while I'm talking because there's too much delay. <laughs> Remember when I was at your house uh, a couple of months ago? I took a picture. Uh, you were holding up. That is the original tiger stripe pattern that that uh, Alex just showed me. And uh, we put that up, and in 24 hours, I got over 17,000 reaches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, uh, you know, on this project that I'm working on, you know, if uh, you know, if you guys would like to do some guns or something, you know, let me know because I'd, uh, you know, I kind of like to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little challenging with the detailed uh, camo stuff, but but you know, it's definitely something we'd be we'd be interested in uh, yeah. in talking to talking to you yeah. about. Well, but, uh, you know, after we get back from Florida, we'll, uh, I'll give you a call. We can talk. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking to do some, uh, some stuff. Everybody, everybody keeps copying this stuff and it's, you know, which is a complete, uh, complete compliment to us, you know, but sooner or later, you know, people keep asking me and keep asking me, when are you going to do something with the original? And I guess maybe uh, in the next few weeks, it's uh, going to have to happen. That's exciting. Yeah, it could be when we go to Florida, huh? Hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not letting nothing I'm out, too buddy. Too nothing. Too much now. You know? <laughs> I love you, Tim. I mean, I'm just I'm in the presence of greatness. Sometimes my, I let my guard down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's why you got to keep Terry close, man. She keeps the handle oh, on you. Oh, I'm telling you, she's choking me about half the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> Man, have you have you have you seen the new Hermosa's headbands? Um, beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, it's it's really cool. Really yeah. Cool. I, what those guys are doing, and it's just I got a lot of respect for them. They just they're doing it right. Well, they're they're not just doing it right. They're just great guys, you know. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to bring Alex on in a few minutes. Alex is one of the owners um, mm -hmm. of this, and uh, you know him and Oliver are just. Uh, you know how it is. You know, we, yeah. just because a guy's got a real nice company doesn't mean he's cool. No, you know. I might be wrong. Were you, were you guys originally the Iron Kids? Yeah, yeah. That's I that's sort of where it started. When you guys come, you were coming up just about the time we were slowing down, and I mean, God, you guys came on like a hurricane. Yep, and then their dynasty. Um, yeah, yeah. Alex over here, he was one of the dynasty guys, you know, and mm -hmm. that's what I was saying I, earlier. They won like a gazillion. I, yeah. A lot. I've got I like iron, the word gazillion. I've got iron. Well, I've been, uh, been in St. Louis a couple of times doing clinics, of, and I've never gotten a chance to go out and meet him. Uh, but you know, every time he comes to town, I know a lot. He, he, you know, a lot of kids go out and go to the clinics, and everybody just really raves about him. So he, he must be doing something really good with the kids and that, because I mean, they just everybody speaks really highly of him here. I just one of these days, I got to go to the World Cup or something where we can sit down and actually meet a lot of these guys. We. You know, that uh, maybe we should do that. Event. Maybe we should do it this there, year. There's the Chicago event too, Tim, which is not that far from you. That's uh, in September every year. Yeah. See, here, the problem is, I, I we got involved in this car racing thing. And <laughs> he's, got, he's got a car racing. It's, I mean, it's, it's just taking so much time and money. Th that'll do that. I've heard that about car racing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've got play paintball on it, which is really kind of cool. And we yeah. get a lot of interest on that, you know, when we're running it. But it's it's a great car, and we've got a, a Hall of Fame driver, so I mean, it's you know, it's it's a lot of fun. But uh, if I, you know, one of these days, I'll link up with you guys because I'd like I said I'd really like to meet you. Oh, you'll you'll love these guys. You're 
Yeah. You're great, man. And, you know, um, we've been out here together for a lot of years, too. Not as long as you and me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what the thing they're doing that really, I mean, really impresses me. That was the one thing that when we were building our clothes, it was like nobody, it was all American made. We were fighting all this import stuff, all this, you know, and it was good stuff that they were bringing in. But, I mean, we were producing that stuff here, and we had a lot of pride in the quality of the garment. I mean, the stuff they're building, I can tell just by listening to Eric on the you know, on TV, he's got a ton of pride in what they're doing, and yeah. that's cool. He absolutely does. And and Alex, uh, he does not just with the markers, but Alex, you know, they came out with the, the headbands and now they got hats and they're getting into a, um, a line of clothing. I won't I won't let it go past that. I'll let Alex talk about that when he comes out. But, you know, these guys well, they are ever, if, they're great. They ever need, uh, well, they probably don't need any help. And if they ever need any directions on contract or anything, tell them to give me a call. I can tell them, you know, if I could help them, I'd be more than happy to help them. Right on, brother. Hey, we're, 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 we're always we're always ready to take advice from someone who's been there, done that, right? We're making yeah, it up as yeah. we go along. Yeah, yeah. I've lost enough money making bad mistakes in this stuff, man. I can help keep you keep you going. Exactly. <laughs> right on, brother. All right. I'll let you go. And hey, keep keep fighting a good fight. You guys are building a hell of a product, and I like what you're doing. And like I said, can't wait to meet you someday. All right. Good to talk to you, Tim. Love you, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Mm. Bye. All right, everybody, it's Mr. Tim Schloss. Great, great guy. Uh, just a terrific person. Eric, I can't thank yeah. you enough Good for to see this. You, Fred. I want to bring in this guy that's just been sitting over here so patient and uh, <laughs> just an absolutely terrific guy. Thank you so much. You got your gun. Please, everybody, welcome a legend, Mr. Alex Frazier. Did I say it right? Yeah, you got it. Wow, I've been practicing it for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Bill knows it's the truth, dude. Hey, Bill. Hey, sweetie. Hi, you are sweetie. Hey, Bill. Such a good yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, Bill Bailey, <laughs> Alex Frazier. Yeah. Good to see you, Bill. Yeah. Um, Alex does uh, not. I'm going to say it. Hormosis? Uh, it's hormesis, but we're thinking of changing it to hormosis. Because you, I've said it so much. Yeah. <laughs> so he does Hormis to sit yeah. and and yeah. other stuff now, along with uh, Oliver White Cloud Lane. And uh, I got to tell you, I I can't say enough about it. I want to start by thanking you so much for honoring me with the headband. I mean, uh, when when Oliver talked to me about it, like I just kind of blew me away. You know, I'm thinking, you know. Why me? You know, so many guys you could have chose, and I can't ever mm. thank you enough for that. Well, Korea. thank you, Fred. That, I Cut mean, and dry. That's that's really what it's about for for Oliver and I is we're honoring our predecessors, and in a, in a way that is genuine. And you know, we came out with a line called the Pioneers, and it honored guys like Bud Orr and John Gregory and um uh um. Sorry, I'm blanking on the air gun to get uh, Tim or oh, uh, Tom Cole. T no, Tom K. Tom K. Tom, Tom K. Yeah, yeah. Tom yeah. And, and you know, a, a, a series of these guys that were really kind of like the paintball forefathers in you know competition and in the industry. And um, you know, we, we came out with that pioneer line, and then we looked at, in our opinion, who is the king of all pioneers, and it was you, Fred Schultz. So we 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 oh, wow. we you know did this whole line for you and. The reason that is, wow. is it's kind of your your career trajectory kind of aligns with our our um, mission statement. And that's grow the community and pay respect and provide a product that means something. It's not technology. You know, that's what you've, you've dedicated your career to is trying to make trying to make people see what we're doing here. Right. And, you know, from the from early on, you were showing people that this is not a war game. You know, this is something that people can use to, to a community that people can can bond over and and people can meet and fathers and sons can go do it together. Like my that's my story. You know, I, right. and, and these kind of these misfits from all places, all all walks of life can meet out at this paintball field. No matter what you do, you could be a lawyer, you could be a garbage man, you could be a rocket scientist. You go out to the paintball field and you meet people that have this common interest and then this community is born and it's really beautiful. I mean, a lot of our guys, you know, we, especially on dynasty, people look at that and like, Oh, you're tournament guys. 
and you just care about winning tournaments and the high end of competition. You know, we, we play our hardest, but we, we don't overlook the fact that really what we're doing here is going out with our friends and playing on the weekend, right. whether you're, whether you're in the woods, whether you're in a tournament, you know, and, and that's, that's what it's about at, at the core. And, and that's what the company is about too. And in, in that, you know, the way it started is an organic way where, you know, two friends got together and decided to do something that was meaningful to them. So we look at it more like an art project than a business. And we're doing things that we feel are creative and that make us happy to do. Well, let me tell you, you know, since I got involved with it, I cannot even begin to tell you how much chatter there is about your headbands out there. I mean, it's just, uh, Am I right, Billy? I mean, it is. It's it just blow, it blows me away. It's you know, like I mean, bullshit. if this is an art project, I'm an artist. Make me an artist, you know, because you guys are just knocking it down. Yeah. And going going back real quick, we'll get back to the headbands in a minute. But you know, you talked about dynasty. You know, you guys, you played hard. You know, you didn't. You went out there. You played hard, and you played fair, and you won. But you didn't push it in people's face. You didn't, you know, the kids that come up to you afterwards that want to talk to you and stuff like that. That's a big thing. That's, that's what makes people, you know, you were just destined to be as good as you guys were. That's all there is to it. You're just, uh, you're one of the best players on the planet. You know, God gave you that gift, period. So it's, it's nothing that, uh, you know, you could have went out there and you could have been just a total jerk because you were the best at what you were doing. And you could have just, snubbed everybody but you never did you talked to everybody you know so to me that is a major major thing that's how you build paintball you know you as a player you're tops it's all there's to it oliver he's tops you guys are just uh you guys are the best that we're on the planet period but you know we were newbies when we started too yeah, and yeah. we we went out to the field and we experienced both sides of what you're saying we experienced people that were warm and that were welcoming and that wanted to share information and that wanted to be, you know, nurture us being there. Right. And then there were guys that weren't so nice. So we got to, we got to experience both sides of that. And then, you know, being aware of those things allowed us to carve out the way we thought that we should do it as we went along. Right. Right. So I saw a kid come up to me and say, Hey, Hey Alex, you know, uh, uh, nice to meet you. Right. I'm going to stop everything I'm doing, even if I just got my ass kicked. Yep. Right. If we just got if we just got beat by, you know, impact and I'm walking off and a kid comes up to me, you know, that is it, it supersedes any win or loss or any of that stuff is is that that connection that really, you know, it's why I play, why I started playing and why I'm still playing. And and it's it's that, um, you know bond that we all share you know i did that that's what actually got me popular people don't you know there's never a secret to being popular the secret is being nice to people that's that's it it's not a secret you, you just got to do it but you know you brought you brought up a good point if you would have came off the field or you wouldn't went up to somebody coming off the field when you were just starting and they were a jerk to you how would that have made you feel about the sport though see that's what i'm talking about mm -hmm. is just exactly that you know, the kid, when you come out to feel win, lose, or draw, and the kid comes up to you and he talks to you, how do you think it makes that kid feel? Yeah, it makes his day either way, the abs, even if you lost. There you go. But it makes his day. You took the time to sit and talk to him and because you were a professional. So that that's what I talk about building paintball. So it, it's just great. And here, here's Ian Jacobs. Remember uh, we were talking about him? Yeah, I, just, I sent your band out just now. I, I put the wrong last name, though, but the address is right, so you should have it. What do you think of that, I am? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Mare Island. Yep. That's uh, Fred knows all about Mare Island. Fred discovered Mare Island. Yep. So, absolutely. Um, yeah, he, he yep. knows a little bit more about it than I do, but, absolutely. but I did. I did grow up playing there, and it probably <clears throat> is was the best paint paintball discovery ever. ever the tools, yeah, huh? you know, I mean, look, <laughs> it, to play tools. in the NS, you that'll that'll um that'll cut your teeth. Like you had to have oh. some. You had to have some cojones to go in there. And yep. I mean, we're talking about tall. Um, Six foot high. Basically, yeah, you couldn't. And there's these little pathways through and you could carve your own pathway. And the guys are just waiting in there for you. And and that's, you know, I think really how how a lot of the OG Dynasty guys, me, Oliver, Yosh, and Ryan, and Angel, Come on, like, you learn how to play in there. 
you know, and that was, um, that was, uh, you know, really, it, it would let you be comfortable with the fear. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was intense. Maryland, a really cool place. And that, that's where you got your start, isn't it? Yeah. Where I got my start. I mean, I went out there with my dad, my, my parents got divorced and it was the thing that my dad and I bonded over. So like during his visitation on the weekend, we would go play paintball at Mare Island. Fury. Oh, that's yeah. a good story. And then, you know, and then, you know, just, it, I met the, we met the guys out there and, you know, we all felt like we were all can't, we're cut from the same cloth kind of. Right. And, and then we became, you know, best friends and, you know, a, a bunch of us came from broken families and, and so did kind I. of found so did I. Our, yep. our surrogate family there. Yep. And that's um, still the way I feel, you know. You know, that's what I was talking about earlier, too, Alex, is, you know, when I would go to Jim Lively's event or I would go to uh, Jerry Brown's World Cup back in the day, all the teams, the people that I had met in paintball, they would all be at those two events every year. Mm -hmm. So that's what was so cool about going and doing stuff like that, you know, and, and you, uh, you've got to travel everywhere. You, you know, I've got a ton of trophies. But I think you got a double time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you know, those are um, those are all in the past. You know, I, I appreciate all those experiences and all the tournament wins and stuff. But when I look back at my experience, that's not the stuff I remember. The stuff I remember are the connections that I've made and the people that I've you know met and and you know and and been able to, especially been able to impact in a positive way there you see that's what i talk about that's what i preach all the time back then and now same thing you know i tell everybody alex you know that i feel blessed for not who i am but who, who i get to know in your headbands believe it or not there has got to be some kind of magic to this now you know people can say anything they want to say i don't care it's fine <laughs> But I, Bill, I got to tell you, in the past few days, I have made so many new friends and, yeah. and not friends just going, hey, cool band. I mean, these people actually, I, and I talk back and forth to them. It takes the first three hours of my day every morning. I've met some terrific people. Now, these new people that I've met, I would have never met if it wasn't for the band. And, and, band. and look, so, it brought us together here. So yeah. I, and, and I've discovered, I mean, I always knew who you were. I looked up to you when I was a kid, yeah. but I, I um, you know, learned a lot more about you mm -hmm. in, in, you know, talking with you here and, and, and developing the band and all that stuff. And just like, um, you know, I said, Oh, you know, Fred, what do you want to call these bands? What, what, what do you want to name them? Do you have anything specific yeah. you want to name them? You know, and you said, Oh, I want to name one after my wife, which is beautiful. You know, I'm married too. And, you know, our wives uh, are, have been supportive and and understand you know that this is important to us and have made the sacrifice and letting us go do it and giving us their blessing and that is so key right that is absolutely um, correct matter of fact i wrote that uh a kid texted me about that uh, yesterday and i had to write a thing about my wife that she put up all the years she put up in you know and she supported me all the time too and i and traveled sh a lot shout out to sherry ann um yeah. thanks for letting fred play paintball yeah. <laughs> she's, oh, she's gonna love that yeah. she's at home going oh yeah. my god alex free yeah. said something about so me here's the here's the beauty we named after her fred named after her i actually like that she that he picked this one because it's a nice uh dynasty blue yeah, so yeah, there it is if you picked one of those up uh congrats it's uh it's a it's a good one yeah um one of the guys that that picked it up he texted me and he was uh extremely happy with it and I, I had to give him a story about my wife and then he texted me back and said the same thing about his wife he goes my wife loves it because every sunday morning she just loves a smile on my face when she knows i'm going to play paintball <laughs> so so see what you started it's okay. not a headband thing see it there's there's always a, a reason why <laughs> people come together and why, you know, I just feel that way anyhow, you know, some people call me nuts, that's fine, I don't care. But there's always a reason, I, I don't see it by chance. I see that there's always some kind of bigger, bigger force that brings people together to do things, you know? And by you just offering me the headband, which blew me away to start with, I have met so many new people and not just new people, new great people. So it, that's done a ton for me already. Thanks, Fred, yeah, and, and you know, everyone, has a story and there's meaning in people's lives, right? Like I see some names in here, Tracy Perez and and um, and Kira and Devin. Like those are people that you know have amazing stories that have persevered through you know 
major obstacles in their life and yep. they play paintball and are part of this community. And, you know, it's beautiful to see that and under and learn that story. Right. Because if you don't have a common thread, then you'll never know. Absolutely. Right? So, I, I mean, I never would have known about your wife. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just incredible. I just, I just think that what you're doing is, is just not only good for paintball. I think it's good for people. I, th I think that, uh, I'll check this out. Tracy loves you. Love you, Tracy. So you threw me under the bus, huh, Tracy? <laughs> oh, my heart's broken. I love you, babe. You know that. Yeah, we did a, Bill and I did a fundraiser for Tracy. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, what did we raise, Billy? About 6000 wasn't it? I don't even remember now. It was that, maybe maybe a little bit more. I, I don't remember. Yeah, amazing. And that's just a testament to the community coming together. And, and I didn't know good. her. Yeah that's, yeah, that's even better. Yep, absolutely. Because, uh, you know, who actually turned me on to that was uh, Gino from Gino. Duncan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gino called me up. He goes, hey, Freddie, he says, uh, <clears throat> I know somebody that needs a hand, he says, because uh, the doctor bills are, are just enormous, he says. Uh, would you consider doing something? I'm like, oh, heck yeah, not a problem. And then uh, I just couldn't figure out how to collect the money and stuff. And that's where Billy came in. Billy took care of all the, and that thing snowballed, huh, Billy? Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> that's great, man. I, I, I commend you guys. That's uh, you know, no, no. I'm more. still hoping everybody got their their prizes. <laughs> yeah, me too. I haven't heard back from anybody, so I guess it's all good. <laughs> oh, oh, Tracy, you're back on the A list again, man. She said she loves me. I like that. <laughs> so, you know, uh, real quick, you know, I, I'm going to go a little bit over the hour because I ran a little long with Eric, and I definitely wanted to talk to, to Alex about some other things that they've got coming too. Now, we all know about the headbands. The headbands are just uh, awesome. But yep. you've got something else coming up here. And uh, it's got to do with coins. And I got to tell you, that's already, the buzz is already jumping around about the challenge coin thing. Maybe you could tell everybody a little bit about that if you would. Yeah, so uh, there's the coin duel challenge game that um, we released last year. We gave all the pro paintball players in the league gold coins with numbers on them. And then anyone who bought a silver coin from Hormesis could go challenge a pro or challenge each other to play. And if you beat a pro, you can you get you get the coin and you have the number on the side of the coin. You email it to me, and then I put you on the scoreboard at uh, CoinDuelPaintball.com. You can go look at the scoreboard on there. And then there's Legend coins, which I have some for you right here, the black ones. So if you have black coins, they have numbers on them. That means you're a legendary player. And if you want to go challenge Fred. Um, he's got some uh, black coins. This is mine. Those are yours. Yeah. So oh, you're on, you'll be on the scoreboard, and then if somebody can oh, take one of those wow. from you in a challenge, and it doesn't have to be paintball related, it can be you know arm wrestling or a you know, golf game. As Drink long game. as it's not yeah. books or yeah. hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll lose on both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I might uh, give you a run for your money on looks. I got you on hair. Though. Um, oh wow! But, uh, so cool. Um, this is something that we haven't come out with yet, but we're working on. Oh wow! Um, and uh, I have uh, one here that I want to give to Fred. So these are kind of like um, we're calling them merit coins. So basically, they're coins that you can give to people for um, for uh, basically a gift if you want. But they can also be challenged for, right? You can put them up for a challenge if you want. So this one is called the Inspiration Coin. So I'm going to give it to Fred because he inspired me and a lot of my friends uh, that are still playing today when we were younger with, uh, you know, wow. the paintball um, the content he did and, and making paintball seem, wow. um, you know, cool and fun instead of like a war game. So, you know, commend you for that. And you're an inspiration to me, Fred. So there's the inspiration coin. You can take a look at it there. Wow. So that one um, goes to Fred oh my and God. we have a couple more here that um, I'll show you guys. Um, this is the game changer coin. So that one, if you see someone make a great move, you can give them that one. Wow. Um, here's the gratitude coin. If you're grateful for somebody, um, here is the virtue coin or virtuous coin. If you see someone uh, do a good deed. And finally, there is the rascal coin. If you, somebody see somebody cheat or uh cheats you so um yeah uh something those are the uh, yeah something for everyone so that's something a project we're working on we'll probably have those out in um, a couple of months here 
um, just trying to make it, uh, you know, mix it up and make it fun and exciting and, and really promote interaction. And that's my favorite thing with the coin duel. Some, uh, a guy I've known for a long time, this guy, Adam, um, who's like been a, a lower divisional player and always around and friendly challenged me to a coin duel at practice. And I said, yeah, let's all take the duel and played him in one-on-one and he beat me, you know, like I'm a way better player than this guy, but you know, he got a ball on me and I lost the coin. So, um, you know, but the, the best part about it is, you know, talking to him after and saying like, you know, good game, talking to him a little bit, maybe you learn something about the person they didn't know before. And when you see him at the tournament, you guys, you, you have that thing, right? You're bonded now. And, um, and I, I really enjoy seeing that um, type of uh, cultivation happen with the coin duel thing. Cause that's really what it's about. It's not about like collecting coins really. It's, it's about connecting with people and meeting people and bringing paintball back to that reason you went out to the field in the first place. And that's having fun, meeting people and you know, talking shit and having that, you know, competition. You too. wonder why you're so popular. You just said why. Yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly what I've been preaching for years. Yeah, well, and, and got I'll, it from you. Alex, I got to tell you, yeah, I'm your first class. First, not, not just on the field, off the field, too. Thanks, Fred. That means a so, lot. Yeah, you are uh, absolutely first class. What do you think of this guy, Billy? That's awesome I, idea. I told you he was hot, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I want to get a museum going. I have a, I have a bunch of stuff and I, I know a bunch of collectors and I think what we should do is um, build a digital museum. Yeah. They, th there's been a couple other people talking about that. And yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's gotta be everyone. I think what has to happen, it has to be a standardized thing. So, you know, yeah. everyone from around the world can put their, you know, items in the collection. I mean, not physically, but, yeah, you know, there's a standardized way of photographing it and then a standardized way of describing it. And then it all goes in this database and it's it's viewable. And then you could have it curated like you could have selected items for yep. each like couple of months. And then there could be like the way I was thinking about it is like, you know, when you go to a museum and you take the like the tour with yeah. the, the headsets, they don't show you every piece of art in the museum. They show you, you know, the, the main 20 pieces. Yeah. So then you could be, you could have like a different curated tour, like every couple of months, right? Like here's, you know, the very first or the second auto cocker. And here's Dave Youngblood's jersey from the Ironman. And here's, and, and you talk about it, right? And yeah. I, I really think, I mean, I don't, I don't see how there's any sort of, um, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, of course. But there's, I, I don't see any um, way to capitalize on it, which makes it hard to, you know, really justify yeah. dumping a whole bunch of time into, but I, yeah. I like believe in that would be awesome. So, yeah. um, yeah, I mean, put some thought into that. And I think, uh, you know, if we get the right people involved and, you know, I, I've talked to like, you know, you know, John, and I see people throwing up names over here, yeah. people we should get in like a, a, a chat and, and really start to, you know, maybe yeah. throw around some ideas and, and figure out how to do it. Kenny Stewart, he has the, um, the general paintball museum. He would be good too. And what you see behind Bill, is probably maybe five percent of what yeah, he that's has. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at those warp feeds. I'm yeah. just, <laughs> dude. I remember Bob Long playing against him with the warp feed. He would like there was those cones. Remember the airball cone bunker? Yeah. And yep. you'd be posted up, and you'd be like, "Oh, there's a guy in there." And then you'd see his face pop out, and then you'd be like, "Huh, he's just looking at me, but he doesn't have his gun up." And then yeah, paintballs would there. start flying out of his mouth, and yeah. he'd be like, "Oh!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it smoke you. Yeah. And there's Stephen yeah. Snow. Uh, Stephen Snow, I would absolutely work for free to preserve painful history. Yeah. Stephen's one of the guys that um, he watches us all the time, Alex. And uh, he yes. he is one of the guys, when I talk about good guys in paintball, I'm Billy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, Kenny's already, we've already got a little behind the scenes group, uh, you know, with Baki and Kenny. There's, there's five or six of us, and Kenny's got a website set up where we, you know, trade information and stuff and uh but someone else, yeah i will i've got a bunch of stuff but someone else talking about the exact same thing you is you are is a uh, tb uh right and uh you know he's down in texas and uh we were actually talking about that about almost a year ago probably i so think it's, it's a great idea yeah, yeah. you know be, because you know he, you can't lose history. You just oh. can't lose. That, that's why I mention these guys every week. I don't want history to yeah. go away. I don't want the, the kids now that just run into a store and buy something to really, I want them to understand how did we get to this point? 
you know, and yeah. you know, guys like me, you know, I know I'm, I'm probably on my way out. There's no doubt about it because, because of my age, but guys like this are still carrying it on and still rocking and rolling, you know, and, and then they're, Brad, they're we're, we're just be getting the started. Ironman. We're getting started. Brad. Go. We're just getting started here. Look, play like a kid. Yeah. Here. How old are you, Fred? 58? Oh, did, you just make, did you just make a friend? <laughs> 71. 71, baby. Play like a kid. Get it. Get it. Get it, Red. There you go. I love it. It's in there. It's in there. It is. Yeah. It is. But yeah, you know, guys like you are what's going to carry it on. And guys like the, the Iron Kids, they're going to carry it on from you. The Hermans. The Hermans. Yes. Yeah. So um, we love the Hermans, by the yeah, way. Right. Yeah. If, you, if you're out there, um, check out the Herman's thing. You helped get him to World Cup, and uh, I didn't know about that. Buy a jersey, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna contribute to that too. Right yeah, now, I, I right bought. We're done here. I, I actually here. bought my wife a jersey because you know what I did is seeing that she's got the Sherry Ann band. I already have a Herman's jersey. I, I got one when the Herman's were first formed, so I got my wife one, and on the back it's gonna say Sherry Ann one. Love it. So um, it'll be cool as heck. Go ahead, Billy. Years, years ago, I I don't. This it's been a long time ago, but Dynasty was uh was the first uh uh paintball team that actually sent me something for a fundraiser that I was doing for Toys for Tots, you know, as a prize. Uh, oh, very cool posters and some other stuff. It's pretty, but they were they were the, the first team that, that ever you know sent us anything at the time. I believe they were with Brass Siegel, you, know, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I mean, well, we, there's there's one of them right here. Yeah, we, we we do our best to contribute in the way any way we can. To, it it you know. was a it was a signed poster and it had had the entire team with all their autographs, so it, it was pretty damn cool. You know, I'm so, surprised they sent that to you. I told them not to, but you yeah. Know. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, he, I asked him if he wanted my autograph. He goes, as long as it's on a check. <laughs> 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 oh, you gotta love it well you know what we ran a little long tonight but i just um i had to give it, get alex in here you know i ran a little long with eric uh, because i just uh i love field one down here and what i like about field one is the people that's uh that's the ticket for me is the people and uh you know oliver oliver's over in, over in valley he said he was going to watch us tonight so um i'm sure he'll he'll chime in tomorrow um like he always does yeah and i, I love um, you oliver you know I'm, I'm glad that you um convinced me to uh to do this project because i'm having a lot of fun doing it you know oh, you guys are just getting started yeah we are yeah i know oh, it's, it's giving on. us new life for sure you just got the boat in the water yeah. man <laughs> yeah well, it's fun it's, it's, it's been it's been a, it's been a, an adventure and a uh, very positive that very cool well billy i'm gonna let you say goodbye to everybody i'm gonna Bye. keep him here billy paintball museum let's do it yep well, we can try see what happens you know it's it's just uh i'm just one of the many you know there, there's about eight of us that's why we got to get everyone together yeah but that's that's what will make it successful though see just like i said at the beginning individually you guys are all great collectively who can top you that's the ticket. nobody nobody can yep. top you Period. You kick butt then, you know. Right on, Billy. Let's right. say goodbye. Say go I'm glad you met Alex. Yep. Me too. See you soon, Billy. Again. Yeah. I told you you're gonna <laughs> like him. I told you he's a good kid. Yeah. So we'll we'll see you guys. Have a great weekend, and uh, see you soon. You too. Tell Susan I said hi. Will do. And I will see you in Florida in two weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. That's yep. crazy. Right on, buddy. Well, you have a good evening, Billy. You too. All right, man. <laughs> All right, everybody else, Mr. William Bailey. Um, you know, said have a great weekend. I'm like, all right, we're good. Yeah, yeah. About, wait a minute, it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's hump day, so yeah. that'll help. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a good one. Have a good weekend. <laughs> have a good weekend, Bill. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's funny. You brought three yeah. more viewers yeah. on when you said that. They're going to be like, where's <laughs> Alex? Yeah. It's gonna yeah, rain yeah. here, but yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. you, you got to be careful, man. I was ready to take the weekend yeah. off. I wouldn't have done nothing. <laughs> yeah. <the rest> of <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I didn't show up for anything tomorrow. It's like, oh, I love you, brother. Friday already. What the? Hell? <laughs> we made Every it. day's a weekend for yeah. me. <laughs> All right, Billy, you take it easy. All right, we'll see you guys. 
All right, guys. Um, you know, we ran a little long tonight, but it's it's hard not to. I could probably sit and talk to Alex until the wee hours of the morning. And I'm sure people would sit and listen because the guy is terrific. Um, I want to thank uh, Keith Kissel, Kiko man. Kiko's sitting over there. He's he's going live on I'm his. Uh, yeah, he's, he's always hungry. He That's funny, too, because he's a late eater. He usually starts eating when it's light. <laughs> Anyhow, um, oh, <laughs> Kiko, everybody knows Kiko's the one that got me back into this, and I, I, I will be forever grateful to him for that. And he he chums around with me, comes around, and he helps me do stuff. We were going to try to do something special tonight with a different camera, but we're getting too much feedback. So that's something that we're going to work on from here on in and uh, make it happen. Um, <clears throat> Alex, I don't even know what the heck to say to you. Giving me those coins the bands um look he's crying i i am pretty damn close you know <laughs> i would but my shirt would shrink then you'd really see how fat i am <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i i just can't thank you enough i i, I really it's, can't it's our and pleasure fred and that, that that means a lot that um you know it's just uh it just it, it blows me away and uh everybody out there like i say the hormesis you got it <laughs> Oh man, I've been running it through my head ever since I'm in. Anyhow, um, yeah, the Hermesis headbands, you got to try them. And not just my line, but all of them. And they've got everything else coming out right now. How is that for a cool thing? I love the beanies. <laughs> I put it on and I can lie about having hair. So it, it works out pretty good. Yeah, and you, you kids out there who don't know a lot about Fred, do a little bit of research. Check out some videos online on YouTube because, you know, he, he really did push paintball at least the tournament side of it into a really positive space that allowed it to grow and to be cultivated and i can't say that it would be as successful and as interesting and as as um as developed as it is without fred wow. and and um and really you know there needed to be somebody like you to push it pass out of the woods and let people know, you know, getting it on TV, being positive. I mean, you go watch the ESPN thing and, and, you know, uh, your, your videos that you did early on. And, and those are, you know, very important stepping stones that happened at a critical time that could have gone the other way. We could have got sent the other way. Uh, but we didn't, you know, we, you came along and, and, you know, did it because you believed in it and that you loved it and not, you know, not to start a company and not to make a bunch of money, but because you believed it. And that's um, that's uh, really, you know, why people should be doing stuff. And um, it's uh, in, it's inspiring uh, just got to, to, to I, be I, around. So that's I'm okay. Real. Grow. Yeah. Let me yeah. Grow. yeah. Here's some yeah. seeds. <laughs> <Here's some. laughs> I'm letting it grow, yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's, it, and it's, it, you know, it, history is moving by so fast now because you got the internet and news getting fed into your face constantly and it's it's fickle right but you know there there it's important to learn about where we came from and um exactly you know, right and that's uh that's something that i encourage all you guys uh to do um and uh if you have it you know you got to know your predecessors and, and and where we came from um and uh if uh, kyle spick is watching that that means you well, if you ever get a show, they'll never watch mine again. I don't know. I think you just blew me away, man. <laughs> we got to get you on Ryan's show. I'd love it. Yeah, yeah. promote your show on there. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, and on Marcelo's show. Play I, the game. I would promote them get, on mine, I'm, too. I'm getting you on there for sure. Yeah, you know what? I did. I, I brought the guys from Frontline on the other day because, you know, one thing I believe in is I believe in spreading it. You know, just just spreading the word about mm -hmm. people. So I brought the other podcast guys on. We had a great time last week talking to them. Love you know? it. Yeah, I just, that's just how I work. I... I don't have any particular venue whatsoever. I, I just want to keep going. Who's ever good, that's who I hang with. That's how it works. So look at this. Well said, Alex. That's not even a word for it, man. Right there. I got to throw it up. So with that, guys, um, shoot, I don't even know what to say now. And, I, I, and, I, and I've never lost for words. I mean, my tongue's like tied in the middle and flaps on both ends. And, <laughs> and you got me stuck oh, here. No, just oh, slap me. <laughs> just slap me, man. You remember, you, you, you told me you were going to pay me to say that. <laughs> he goes down. I'm okay. I want $150,000. <laughs> That's so, what headband. I didn't put Crisco on the bottom. <laughs> there you go. It worked, too. Yeah. See, now we're even. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> 
So everybody out there, um, I appreciate so much you watching tonight. Once again, I want to thank Eric Crandall and Alex Regi for having me down here. I want to thank Alex and, and Oliver particularly for the headband and uh, what I believe they're doing for paintball, guys. Um, you know, keep checking out their band, check out their coins, check all of this stuff out. Because what it does is that it makes us all interact together. And that's what we're all about is, is being paintball strong. Period. Yeah, be kind to each other. Yep. So next week I'm going to have Tank, Tank, Tank on. We're going to be talking Jelly Ball next week. So if you get a chance, tune in, check it out. Until next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play paintball. All right? Good night, everybody.